One of the questions I'm often asked is, uh, what is the master's program control of infectious diseases, also known as CID or CID for? So the program's already been designed over the years to train prospective students in all aspects of control of infectious diseases. So that would include specific outbreak control scenarios and how to deliver them. And we're very lucky in that students who've attended the program are now dispersed across the world and often in influential positions. So we're very proud of that fact. So I'm often asked what is unique about the CID programme? And I think there are one or two points there. Uh, the first point is that the CID programme is truly multidisciplinary. And by that, uh, we mean it encompasses elements of uh, epidemiology, public health, and laboratory sciences. And because of that, students really have access to a vast array of module choices. So as you go through the programme, you'll be given guidance about how best to choose those modules to further your career. Another important aspect uh, or unique aspect about the programme is the research project. So here students really have access to academics, their research avenues, uh, that really can span the globe Historically, most CID students travel overseas for their projects, not all, but most. And it's a real resource for students to develop a research-based project with academics. So it's a really important part of the programme. One of the important questions we're often asked is, uh, what does a prospective applicant look like? What are we looking for in an applicant? And really, we're very lucky on the, the CID programme in that we have a truly international cohort of students. And uh, candidates really come from such a diverse uh, professional, geographical, educational background. So we have perhaps uh, medical students, intercalating medical students who want to uh, expand their skill set. We have uh, veterinarians, we have uh, people from biological scientific backgrounds, and we also have applications for people with atypical education backgrounds. Perhaps they've had vast experience with working overseas, perhaps NGOs who want to retrain. What we're really looking for is demonstration of interest in infectious diseases, perhaps above and beyond the curriculum. So that might involve, for example, students who have uh, travelled overseas or done voluntary work overseas, that really stands out in an application. So in summary, what the CID programme can offer is uh, access to high quality teaching to work with uh, not only teachers, but uh, research academics with global networks. Uh, you'll have a chance to mix with students from across the world. And by the end of the programme, you'll be trained in all aspects of control of infectious diseases. So if you're interested, please take the time to look at other aspects on the Control of Infectious Diseases webpage and we look forward to receiving your application.